if you're new to the channel, um, we take a portion of everything we make on all of our social media platforms. And every once in a while, when we have enough money, we donate it to veteran organizations or veterans in need. Yes. And so this donation is going to be different than anyone we've ever done. Yep. Because we are donating directly to an individual veteran mm -hmm. and their family. That's correct. Who lost their house to a fire back in February. Um, they are still picking up the pieces. They are kind of in a dispute with insurance yeah, and trying to limbo. figure everything out. So they're not even allowed to tear down or rebuild or anything Can't until this. Anything with the property. Yeah, so they're staying with family. They are still displaced after so many months uh, gone by. We know firsthand how this feels. Absolutely. We lost our house to fire back in 2001. Yep. And uh, we lost everything. So we know exactly how this feels. Yep. It's a very emotional time. Um, you don't know what's going to happen next. As a matter of fact, the day after this happened, Robert, who is the veteran that we're talking about, um, put a video up on Facebook sharing some of the feelings he was going through less than 24 hours after he lost his home mm -hmm. and was scared that he had potentially lost his family. Yep. Take a look. I unfortunately was not here last night when this all started. I got off work at like 9, 10, 9, 15 last night jumped on the motorcycle, started making my way home. Phone's in my back pocket. I can't feel it over the rumble of the motorcycle. I'm wearing my sunglasses because I'm gonna probably start tearing up. And that's just not me. You can hear in my voice right now. I kept noticing the fire. And as I turned on Alabama Road, there in Ephesus, I could smell smoke heavy and I was like I can smell the smoke I'm like all right it's close you know okay maybe it's over there maybe it's in between Alabama and Thomas Street as I get closer to the house the smoke gets stronger and stronger I could see the smoke and the flames coming and I'm like wow that is really close to my house as I topped the hill all I could see was fire trucks and the direction they were facing was either to my house or my neighbors right across the street. All I see is flames come from my house and the emotion that hits right here, knowing that that's your house and your wife and kids might be inside. I'm looking, scanning every face, everybody, all the firefighters, there's probably 10, 12, 15 volunteer firefighters. Thank you. Anybody that's the first responder, thank you. I'm scanning their faces. I'm looking. Because I know if my wife is somewhere, she's going to be close to the damn top of the driveway waiting for me to come across that driveway. And as soon as I get my helmet off, my eyes lock on her. I'm running to her and asking her, where are the kids? Because they're not standing beside of her. And she's, they're at mom and dad's. My heart came back to me. I hugged her and I looked. Let me show you. There's my house. And all I can do after I start hugging her is just thank my lucky stars that I still have them. That house right there is going to get rebuilt. Material things can be replaced. They couldn't have. 
and I'm just so thankful. The cool part is they don't know that we are going to give them a donation today. Nope. <laughs> they think that we are going to go out there and film. Just visit. Uh, yeah, just visit and film a video about fire safety. Yeah. Which um, we're not. I'm anticipating it's going to get a little emotional because oh, yeah. this is not just any ordinary um, veteran and their family. These are friends of ours. And um, I will say it's just amazing because uh, we've worked with this couple for years in fundraising. Yes. For other veterans. And the whole time they've been going through this whole fiasco and losing their home, losing everything, um, displaced, worried about how they're going to replace their stuff, worried about funds, they're out there raising, raising money, money for other veterans. Yep. Just selfless people who are just mm -hmm. doing great things. And, you know, sometimes you catch a bad break. And because of you and because of you watching and because of you helping and donating, we are able to do stuff like we're about to do today. Couldn't be more excited. Yes. <laughs> Let's go do it. Okay. Leslie's gonna cry. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, we're here with Robert and Joanna. Robert is a Marine Corps veteran. How many years did you do the Marine Corps? Eight years, sir. And what did you do in the Marine Corps? I was a combat engineer and a primary marksmanship instructor. And now a uh, disabled veteran. So thank you for your service and for your sacrifice. Thank you. And unfortunately, this is their home, which you guys lost to a fire in February. Yes, correct? February 8th. And so the current situation, correct me if I'm wrong, the current situation now is you guys have worked with the insurance company. They're taking care of the structural stuff, but you're still kind of working on your stuff stuff mm -hmm. because the, it could be a manufacturing issue. It could be, you know, the insurance trying to work all that out to figure out who's going to pay for your stuff. Is that right? It's an investigation yeah. Yeah. technically, but the stuff stuff, it, they've already told us um, the insurance is not going to cover all of the stuff yeah. stuff. Dang. That. Yeah. Well, we know you guys are still in the rebuilding phase. When we heard about this, man, it totally broke our heart. And we know that you guys, yes. we've been through this before. We lost our house to the fire in 2001. So we know relate. exactly what it's like to lose everything that you own. Start all um, over. So we actually got you a little gift that we wanted to present to you on, on camera to kind of help you get back to some normalcy. <laughs> Leslie's going to go grab it out of the truck real fast. We love you guys. And we know that even in the, what, what's crazy is to me is the mentality of, of people like us who we want to give back. We don't ever want to be on the receiving end. We feel like we don't want to owe anybody. Exactly. So we feel exactly. like we always want to be the one out there raising the money for the vets, doing things for vets. And so what I wanted to point out was in the midst of all of this, <laughs> you guys are out there still doing vets, though. raising money for other vets. <laughs> you're homeless pretty much and you're out there doing for others. And that's, that's awesome. And so I have a confession to make. This video is not about fire safety. <laughs> um, as you know, we raise money for vets as we travel across the country. And a lot of times we give, uh, we give donations directly to veteran organizations. But we love you guys and we know that how important it is to be able to rebuild your family. And so we want to get you started with that. Our subscribers have chipped in. They watch our videos. They buy our swag. They shop at our store. They join us on Patreon. They do all the things to help us build up enough money to be able to give away and help veterans yeah. like you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> so I'll let Leslie get to it. You fooled me. And I hate this because <laughs> I said I wasn't going to get through this. I'm crying. But I love you guys. You have the biggest heart that I hate that this happened to you. Damn it. <laughs> Want me to talk? <laughs> yeah. This was all part of the, the Wayward Wags community that did this for you guys. So today we're going to present you guys with a check for... $2,400. Oh, wow. Yeah, hopefully it'll help you bring some normalcy back. Thank you, brother. And speaking of, speaking of normalcy, I also want to mention there's ways if you want to donate directly to this family or if you want to get something off their Amazon wish list, we'll put all the links to that stuff down in the description of the video. Yes. All you got to do is go on to Amazon, onto their wish list, click on something. It'll ship it directly to them. I have to worry about anything else. So I'm sure that they would appreciate that. Keep in mind, it's not a need list, it's a wish list. This is kind of stuff that just makes them feel more comfortable, makes them get back to normal life, makes yes. their kids feel like they are getting back to a sense of normalcy. It's just uh, that kind of stuff. It's gonna be super important. So if you feel it in your heart to, uh, to buy something off the wish list or make a direct donation, we certainly would appreciate that. Yes. Absolutely. And thank you guys for everything you guys do for the veteran community. 
Maybe we hope this helps a little bit. I hope so. Um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you so much for watching, for helping us do things like this. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching and we will see you next time. Bye. -bye. Bye.